So in 2020, I found this list of 100 books to read before you die according to the BBC. And I thought, oh, I can read all of them in one year. And it was a colossal disaster. So I'm regrouping. We are still working on the 100 books to read before you die according to the BBC. I'll put the link below in case you want to join. This year in 2021, I've selected 12 books to read off of that list and I will be reading one book a month from that list. So if you want to follow along and read the books along with me, you can do that. This would be my 2021 TBR to be read. The first book that we have for January is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This book is supposed to be a comedic fantasy book. We have Arthur Dent who lives on planet Earth. He is rescued right before the Earth is demolished to make way for this galactic highway. And him and his friend Ford Prefect are traveling through the galaxy and have lots of different encounters with different people and funny situations unfold. In February, we have Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. I've read this twice previously. It's a pretty quick read. This is about a dystopian society where most of the women in the society can no longer bear children. So the women who can bear children are rounded up and forced to have children on behalf of all of the society. Brings up a lot of questions about women's rights and women's place in society. There is a really popular Hulu Netflix series that aligns pretty closely the first season with this book. Like I said, I really have enjoyed it in the past. I'm looking forward to reading it again in February. In March, we have The Chronicles of Narnia now. Unfortunately, one of the things on the list where it says 100 books, it's not really 100 books because like this, they'll classify it as one book. But this, I have not read The Chronicles of Narnia before. It is a fantasy series. I take it from the synopsis that there are two children who form a friendship. And in the first book, they discover this passageway to another world. They go on some adventures and find their way home. In April, we have The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. There, this is a fictional story. It's supposed to also be um, comedic. There is a gentleman who has a series of rules that he follows to get through life until one day the neighbor's dog is killed Using this series of life rules, he's trying to figure out who killed the dog. In May, we have Emma by Jane Austen. Many of you know I do not care for Jane Austen. So if you love Jane Austen, I would actually like to go through this book with a group of people who actually like Jane Austen because maybe there's something that I'm missing. Connect with me on Goodreads or leave me a comment below, but I would love to get a group going when I read this book. Based on the synopsis, this sounds like Emma. She doesn't really want to be in love or is considering marriage, but she likes setting up other people with love and marriage. She has this protege that she's trying to set up with and has unexpected and funny consequences. So we'll see how I like Jane Austen this year. Let me know if you're interested in doing a reading group or a buddy read through Emma. In June, we have this book. This is The Five People You Meet in Heaven. So there is a gentleman who is a war veteran and then he ends up working at a seaside amusement park when one day the there is an accident and he's crushed beneath one of the rides. He gets to heaven and your life is explained to you by five different people that you met during your life. And I heard make sure to bring the tissues. I'm really excited to give that one a go. July, we had The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. This is a collection of short stories 
where we have Sherlock and Watson trying to figure out a variety of different mysteries. I am super excited. It will also prepare me if we ever, if we ever get to travel in 2021. I am dying to go to London and I can, they have a bunch of sites dedicated to Sherlock Holmes and also Chronicles of Narnia. There's a few sites that you can visit related to that set of books and Oxford is not that far away. So I can also take a peek at his dark materials and go on a tour. So I have to read this book and get ready for my upcoming trip to London whenever they lift the travel bans. August, this is Watership Down. I have not read this yet. It is a fantasy book about a family of rabbits when men come in and try to take away their land. I think it's supposed to be a little bit humorous and I believe there's either a show on this on Netflix or Hulu. This next book, I'm so excited to read this. I've heard so much about it. This is Rebecca, which has recently been made into a Netflix movie. I haven't seen it yet though. We are introduced to a character who is working as a maid and wouldn't you believe her luck as she finds this very wealthy widow or widower, widow? In any case, he proposes marriage very quickly. She can't believe her luck. They come home from the honeymoon and there's a little bit of spooky stuff like what happened to the first wife. I am really excited. I really enjoy a good thriller. This is for the month of October. This is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. This is a story of a young man who had a very un impoverished and unhappy childhood and it follows his adventures as he becomes a celebrated novelist and he meets a variety of different characters through his journeys. November, this is A Prayer for Owen Meany. I have read this book, I think, twice before. I'm really looking forward to reading it for a third time. It follows the story of two young guys, a beautiful friendship forms between them. And also it touches on destiny, intuition, a higher calling, all those things. It's very magical, beautiful, very moving. I absolutely loved it and I'm really looking forward to reading it again in 2021. Last but certainly not least, we have this huge beast of a book. It is A Suitable Boy. I checked the audiobook on that. It says 60 hours, six zero. So I'm gonna have to probably take more than December to read that one. It is the story of Lata in the 1950s in India. She is looking for a suitable boy to marry. It follows the story of four different families. I'm really excited and it will also be nice to get a different perspective than just the US perspective. I've really tried to make some diversity in my reading as one of my goals in 2021. So please make sure to join me in reading all these books. I will be releasing videos for all these books. And I will put the link down below if you want to check out the full list of the 100 books to read before you die according to the BBC. If you believe that books create ideas and ideas change the world, let's change the world one book at a time. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'm Lisa of Troy. Peace.